So here's a picture of the current El Riopoli board. It's 36 spaces long. How many dice would you need in order to get all of the stuff out of this event that you would want? Well, on average, you'll get a die roll of about three and a half. That means you're going to need a little over 10 dice to get through the board on average. However, that's not including the yellow tiles, which give you an extra die, and purple tiles, which drop you back a few spaces. But we're actually going to ignore those. Puts too many variables in this, and the point of this video is to get an estimate rather than an absolute exact number. Anyways, we're gonna just say you're a tiny bit above average, each rotation and that it takes exactly 10 dice to make a trip around the board. That means for every coin you want out of this event, you'll need 10 dice or spend 1,000 kaching, which is $10. If we look at the rewards list, the winter casual re-release is the set for this El Riopoli, but that changes here and there. For the 4-4, it'll run you 14 coins, about 140 dice or $140 of kaching, right? Well, actually, no. You can get one die per day just from attendance, and most Elsword events last for two weeks, but this one lasts for four weeks or 28 days, so you can get 28 dice for free. Anyways, that cuts it down to 112 dice, or $112. But let's take it further. For the rest of the video, let's say you've already rolled your free attendance dice. You want the hair? Five more coins, so that's 50 more dollars. And the weapon? Also $50. Once you've bought the five pieces of whatever set is being promoted, then you get your option to get the upper echelon of rewards an alternate costume piece, an accessory, maybe some special other thing, and a random amulet that's between 8 and 11 inclusive, and I really don't recommend that one. But by that point, you needed 240 dice, and then it's another 5 coins, or 50 dice, or $50 if you want the alternate costume, or another 6 coins, 60 dice, or $60 for that last whatever the heck. Are these events worth paying into at all? Well, I'd actually say that depends. Are these prices incredibly steep? You bet they are, and no one wants to pay $112 for a set of clothes. However, do keep in mind that El Riopoli dies are gained from the spending of the Kaching itself, meaning that this event only serves to reward you further for buying things that you would have bought anyways. So it's not so much saying, I spent $112 and all I got was this costume. It's more, I spent $112 on the game. In addition to all the other things I got, I was given this costume as a bonus. If you've got a pretty big shopping list of supplies or job changes or whatever it is that you need, I could perfectly understand unloading onto this. However, otherwise, I don't know, it depends on what kinds of things you consider important and how much money you're willing to spend on video games. But you know what? It's all cosmetic stuff without great stats anyway, so people don't really need to complain. You can find them on the board if you really want them that badly. Making the microtransactions be cosmetic specific is the true end goal for games that run on a freemium funding anyway, so who cares? Uh, well, uh, I guess I do, because this set looks really nice on Reyna. Top tier, put it on the grill tier list, bam. I'm Brancliffe. Goodbye, everyone.